Welcome to InfoTrend on YouTube. Today we're going to show you how to enable, disable, and migrate storage tiering on the Eon Store DS system. First, log into Sandwatch. The default password is root. Then create a logical volume in Sandwatch, which will simultaneously create logical drive 1. Select the SSD drives, enable storage tiering function, and set it for tier 0. Set it for RAID 5 for RAID configuration. The summary window will appear. When ready, click OK. The creation process may take a while depending on the capacity and the number of disks you have in the RAID array. When done, you'll see Logical Volume 1 and Logical Drive 1 belonging to Tier 0. Now select the SAS drives to create Logical Volume 2, set it for Tier 1, the RAID configuration is also RAID 5. Click Next and a summary window will appear. When ready, click OK. And again, this may take a while depending on the capacity and the number of disks you have in the RAID array. When done, you'll see Logical Volume 2 and Logical Drive 2 belonging to Tier 1. Let's create a partition. This partition will not be thin provisioned and cannot cross tiers. Set the capacity for 100 GB and users can only select tier 1 or 0. Click next when ready, a summary window will appear. Click OK when ready. Now let's create another partition and it will be thin provisioned and it can cross the two tiers. Users can choose between tier 0, 1 or both. Click next when ready, a summary window will appear, the tiering information will appear at the bottom. Click OK when ready. When done, click on the logical volume and click on the information tab. You can see tier 0 and tier 1 information. Users can migrate the tiers by clicking on the tier migration tab. Sandwatch allows users to manually migrate the tiers with priority settings at high, normal, and low. Priority settings affects the overall performance of the RAID system with low having minimum effect and high having the most effect on system resources. Users can also manually schedule a date and time for tier migration to occur. For this demonstration, we're going to manually migrate the tier using the normal setting. When ready, click OK to begin and complete the migration process. Finally, I'm going to show you how to disable the tiers while they're online. First, let's disable the tiering function. A warning window will appear, click yes to continue. A confirmation window will appear when tiering has been disabled. Click on the tiering information tab and you can see that there's no tiering information. To re-enable tiering, simply click on the enable tiering tab. Remember that there were two logical drives created and two tier levels created. Now users can choose between Tier 0 and 1. Click OK when ready. When enabled, a confirmation window will appear. You may click on the Information tab and you can see that Tier 0 and Tier 1 have been re-enabled. This concludes our Eon Store DS storage tearing demonstration. Thank you for watching.